Members of the Toronto Police Service will be packing winter survival kits today for the city's most vulnerable. And with all the details, we're joined live by CP24's Lindsay Biscay. Good morning, Lindsay. Good morning, Bakari. Yeah, this is the Engage and Change Winter Survival Project. And the weather turned just in time to show why people need uh, all these survival kits to make it through the winter. It's exactly as it sounds. It's survival kits uh, to help people survive. So in these kits is everything you would need to survive through the winter if you're living on the streets in the GTA. So that includes, you know, snow pants, jackets, gloves, hats, uh, hygiene products, um, and lip balm. Everything that you might think of that you would need, and it all comes nice in a backpack to carry all your stuff. Uh, this has been going on since 1999. There's a lot of volunteers who are uh, here helping with this project who come every year. And uh, I'm just going to try to grab one of those volunteers, Nancy McKenzie, uh, who's been volunteering for quite a while with Scotiabank. Nancy, so I guess first off, thanks for speaking with me. Tell me why, I know you're busy, tell me why you've been volunteering for so long. Well, um, you know, it's really important to give back to our community where you know Scotiabank is has always taken a very strong focus on community and and helping out others and homelessness is just such a huge problem in and there, I wish there was more that we could do about it but you know this is this is we do our bit and um, it's just it's really important and and the just getting the engagement with the community it's it's really rewarding and you know you try to do your part by doing this every year recruiting you've got new recruits this year as well um, you know one of the organizers was telling me that the need this year has grown substantially have you seen that over the years yeah absolutely I've been doing this for over 10 years and just the the requests that come in are it's just bigger every year and you wish that it would that it would just we could get rid of it that we could get rid of homelessness but but it's just it's worse and worse every year so I wish we could do more Nancy, thank you for taking the time. I'll let you get back to work. You've got a lot to do. Thank you. Uh, yeah, so, I mean, this is what the volunteers are doing, helping pack kits into people's cars, um, and, you know, they're taken off to distribute to those who need them. And, Bakari, as I was just saying, you know, one of the organizers was telling me last year they had 19,000 people asking for kits. This year, that number has grown to 29,000. So an incredible increase, not something we want to see. But, of course, on days and nights like we're having right now with this extreme cold warning in effect. These kits are essential for people's survival. For now, I'll send it back to you. CB24's Lindsay Biscaya. Thank you, Lindsay. Well, CT24 